We're back with the resistance band, and Shane and I are going to demonstrate some simple connection drills that you can do between two people, whether they be leaders, followers, or a leader and a follower, it doesn't matter. It's all good to be feeling the resistance yeah. and the opposition. I put in my left hand, Kerry puts in her right hand, we get our elbows off our bodies, because that's really, you don't want to dance with your arms tucked in. And then I'm, it doesn't matter whether I'm doing a cowboy swing, uh, modern drive, rock and roll, um, West Coast swing. I want to think the third foot position and getting ready to move, move my body so that if I was going to do a rock step, Kerry would be able to stretch there. If I was doing modern jive, she would be able to stretch and hit. Same for West Coast swing and then country swing as well. <laughs> All right, so it's really good. We want to keep this a nice consistency. And even if I had it attached to the chair, I wouldn't want it to fling in if Kerry was the chair. So we're trying not to have any slack in our TheraBand, no matter how long or short it is. Yeah, and you can play around with the length of it, but let's face it, we're not going to be this far apart <laughs> normally when we dance anyway. So from a standing position, we can work the opposition versus neutral without creating any slack in our TheraBand. And this is a great spot to think about posting. And for those of you that have never heard of the posting concept before, if we had a post sunk into the ground, our TheraBand would stay midway over that post. So if I had a dotted line right here, kind of like um, tug of war, we would put that dotted line over right. the post. And as we do our opposition and our neutral, that dotted line would stay lined up over that post. So that's the concept of posting. When we take away the TheraBand and use our hand, we now think our of arms our- arms become the elastic band, so now we're stretching in the arms instead of the rubber band. And our hands are posted over yeah, that. Yeah, and that's position. for all your swing dances. All right. We can also do this traveling forward and back because that does make it a little bit more tricky. Shane can walk it forward or backward, and what I'm going to do is try to maintain the tension in the TheraBand, and there he rocked a little bit, so you saw how I changed weight, and then when he's ready to come forward, it's my job to keep up the tension so that the TheraBand doesn't slack, and that's a really great drill in and of itself. Yeah, and it takes a little bit of concentration, actually, because you can feel the band change and that's my job to adjust in the connection for my partner or vice versa. So it's a great little drill and when you do it with a chair or something you'll go, oh it went slack, how did that happen? Well you did something with your arm. While you're doing this exercise we can pass one another. If we stayed broad and apart it would be more circular like some of your circle swing dances. A little bit more ring around the rosy but we're going to also demonstrate how this can be slotted which means left side or right side passes, we're like sliding doors, we keep the tension and we switch places. And you might have seen what happened, whereas our hands might be slightly sitting on top of the hip level here. As we passed each other, it dropped a little bit low with gravity and allowed us to maintain that tension or not create slack. Then when we came back up to our 180s flip-flop position, the hands got back or rose back to that neutral position. A couple tips while you're doing that, if I may. This works left to right. Oh, yeah, it works totally. right, yeah. right to left. <laughs> it works handshake position and it works opposite handshake position. So taking a couple minutes and playing, don't go anywhere, and playing with this is a really good way um, to get an idea of working off lots of different sides of your body. Yeah, because really, when I want to get creative, you know, like seriously, these things, you're going to have so much fun with it. And again, if I do this with the chair, it's the same thing. If I pull it off its legs, I did this. So, yeah, so many things you can do. In reverse of that, and I know we're going to go over this in another video, but as he walks back and I create resistance, he stands still. He keeps the tone or the resistance, no slack here. I'm then into his body creating compression and then send back out. We can work the stomping with compression yeah. as well as the extension, but we'll put that into another video. Just make sure that you're working into it slow before you start whipping it around the floor and really focus on keying into that nonverbal communication with your partner.